We've gone over a good bit of theory. Now let's talk Turkey. If you want to go shopping for some entry-level continuous lighting, what are a few things you can watch out for? Well, this light back there that you've been watching throw a huge lens flare on your screen for this whole section is a flood lamp. Looks just like this if you turn the light off. Pretty much like a, uh, a shop lamp you'd buy at a hardware store, except this puppy will take a two or three hundred watt bulb. They actually put out quite a good bit of light. You can't direct the beam very much, which is why they call it a flood lamp, but it's great for illuminating a broad area or putting a bunch of light into a silk or a softbox, that kind of thing. These are a good place to start because they're very inexpensive and they do produce a good amount of light. The next step up is probably a light like this. Still pretty inexpensive, but you have the advantage of barn doors. Barn doors are these little metal flaps that allow you to flag the light off different areas. You're not actually focusing the beam on this guy, but you are able to control where the light goes. And that is an advantage that's worth a few dollars in my book. The next step up from that is probably light like this, which has interchangeable bulbs, 600 watts to 1,000 watts. Also has accessories. You can get a little frame like this, which uh, has little clips on here that you can put your gel on. It has a hole for an umbrella. You can put an umbrella right in here. And you can also buy a speed ring to put a softbox right on this kind of lamp. When you get right down to it, light is light. What you do with the light, in other words, how you affect it from soft to hard and where you shine it, is going to mean a lot more than how much you paid for the instrument itself. The only rule, really, is that whatever you do has to look good to you.